When was the last time you placed a patient onto a backboard and the patient actually said, thank you? Probably never. That's because backboards are incredibly uncomfortable. The patient's pain and discomfort means damage is occurring. A hard flat board is not conducive to stabilizing the S-shaped curvature of the spine. However, a backboard is still the best tool for immobilizing and transporting a patient with a suspected spinal injury. Many studies have shown that securing a patient onto a backboard can actually cause further injury to the patient, such as pressure sores or ulcerations, nerve damage at pressure points, increased inflammation at the point of injury from the patient squirming to get comfortable, and even difficulty breathing due to hyperextension of the head and neck. The Department of Transportation recommends that padding be used to fill the voids and relieve pressure points when immobilizing a patient onto a backboard. Additional lateral padding is also recommended to increase stabilization. Using foam or towels to pad can be very cumbersome and complicated without enough support personnel to assist in the application. Using the back raft is simple and accomplishes all aspects of padding, support and lateral stabilization as required by the National Department of Transportation guidelines. Your transport time to a hospital may be short or very long. Regardless, the back raft should be used. Patients typically spend most of their time on a backboard while at the hospital. Some studies show the average time a patient spends on a backboard is over 80 minutes. That time can double or triple if the patient requires further evaluation such as cross-table x-rays and CAT scans. The back raft is also highly effective in reducing patient discomfort associated with the turbulence during transport on rough terrain. To better perceive the benefits the back raft brings to patient stabilization on a backboard, Take a moment to lie on a backboard with the back raft. Have someone inflate the back raft for you and wait just a moment before letting out the air. You'll feel the indescribable difference and understand what your patients are experiencing. Make it a priority in your agency to give your patients the best medical care. We like the back raft as paramedics because when we transport patients to the hospital, they no longer complain about the backboard being the chief complaint. I would not want to be transported without a back raft if I did have to go to the hospital on a backboard. I wouldn't want my family transported on a backboard without a back raft. I've been a paramedic for over 25 years and I think the back raft is probably one of the most significant uh, contributions to the EMS industry that there's been. Uh, I can tell you that I was in a class one time and they, I'd never laid on a, on a, a backboard which may be, may be strange but I laid on a backboard and uh, laid on it for a period of time and then they inflated the back raft under me. I thought it was so much more comfortable and then they deflated it after a period of time and I wanted the back raft back. Well for us there's a big benefit. The way we have our system set up right now we are we are called by nurses to get patients off of backboards even if they have just minor injuries we're called to get them off of backboards before we're seeing even more critically ill patients so it really alters the triage system quite a bit. It's really nice to come into a room, a patient's on a backboard with a back raft, they're comfortable, they're not squirming around, they're not trying to move their neck, they're just comfortably laying on the air mattress and I think that for me as a physician it makes a, a, a much happier patient and it makes my job so much easier. The back raft is a low-cost inflatable spinal stabilization device that fills the voids between the patient and the backboard, relieves pressure points at the head, shoulders, and sacral regions, provides lateral stabilization, a crucial element in preventing movement during transport. The back raft's single chamber design allows for air to go to the area of least resistance, therefore positioning your patient into true neutral alignment. The back raft is 100% x-ray translucent, latex-free, billable to the patient, and could be cleaned and reused. The back raft should be used with any geriatric patient or any patient suspected of spending a prolonged amount of time on a backboard. Consult your medical control physician for protocols. The few seconds you take to apply the back raft is invaluable to your patient. The compact size of the back raft and hand pump store easily into any seat collar or trauma bag, or the back raft may be stored ready for use on your backboard. First, remove the back raft from its packaging. Unfold the back raft and make a quick inspection to confirm the product is not damaged. Next, place the back raft onto any standard backboard. 
The back raft is designed to fit most 16 and 18 inch backboards. Simply place the narrow head portion at the top of the backboard. Then place the two straps over and under the backboard to secure the head portion into place. Straighten the back raft and secure it to the lower portion of the backboard by removing the adhesive protective lining, then adhere it to the backboard. This adhesive was specially designed for easy removal after use from the backboard. The back raft is now ready for use. You may elect to store the back raft on the backboard or keep it in the C collar bag and apply it onto the backboard while on scene. Because the application of the back raft is simple and quick, either method is acceptable. The back raft should be deflated and secured to the board before positioning a patient onto it. To position the patient onto the back rafted backboard, follow your current spinal immobilization protocols. The back raft is designed to allow full function of the backboard and not interfere with your current patient packaging methods. Keep in mind, however, this is a tool and you may need to assist the patient over the lower flap of the back raft in an extrication situation. Once the patient is properly positioned on the backboard and back raft, Ensure the valve is in the open position. Counterintuitive to other gate valves, the design of the back raft inflation valve prevents accidental opening of the valve after inflation. Therefore, a T position of the valve is open and an inline position of the valve is closed. Next, connect the rapid inflation hand pump tubing onto the back raft valve. If possible, advise the patient they may hear some air being pumped into the mattress by their head and begin to inflate. The proper level of inflation is subjective and dependent upon several points. First, confirm that voids between the patient and backboard have been filled. If the patient is conscious, ask the patient if they are comfortable. This will confirm the pressure points have been relieved. A rule of thumb often used is to look for a slight elevation of the patient's shoulders while positioned at the head and inflating. After the back raft has been appropriately inflated, begin securing strapping mechanism per your local protocol. The back raft is designed to accommodate most cranial immobilization devices or CIDs. Be sure that any CID that connects left and right sides is placed under the back raft, not over. A good rule of thumb to remember is that the entire back raft should be touching the patient. To remove a patient off the back raft, simply deflate by opening the inflation valve and remove the patient off the board according to local protocols. No contraindications exist for the back raft. Remember that pain equals damage, and by reducing pain for the patient on the backboard, we're reducing further damage. Together, we're elevating patient care. Thank you for your time. Thank you for viewing this instructional video. Thank you for allowing us to assist you in providing better patient care. For more information about the back raft, such as purchasing, clinical studies, additional copies of this DVD, field trial opportunities, or to schedule an on-site demonstration, please visit www.thomasems.com or call 800-445-3640.